Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are going to check out uh, one of the few species that we have not really done a video on yet here on the brand new Mississippi Acres Preserve, and that species is the quail. I thought it would be kind of fun to go out here with a couple of the 20 gauge shotguns being the uh, 20 gauge uh, semi-automatic, along with the 20 gauge side by side and just kind of take on some of these quail and hopefully work towards getting a diamond one or a rare because we haven't seen anything even close to diamond and we have yet to see any rare so I'd love to get one of those at some point uh, relatively soon so let's uh, head out there and see what we can end up finding now I do have a very special video coming tomorrow and if you guys have been watching the live streams you guys already know what it is but I wanted to kind of give a bit of a break in between uh, gator hunting videos so uh, yeah we're gonna be hunting some quail today but tomorrow will be another gator video and if you guys haven't already seen this you guys will not want to miss it oh there we go finally some quail and they're coming right to us so that's even better and of course we miss a couple pretty easy shots on that one but we managed to uh, pick up the slack with those shots and see if we can get a couple with the 22 LR there we go finally uh, about 10 years later we finally ended up hitting a shot can we get the last couple I wonder oh there we go and there we go not bad so that's a full uh, group of quail down that's a little gray male right there as far as I've been able to uh, tell I think the females are gonna be the ones that end up making diamond all of the males seem to score really low and the females score uh, relatively high so I think level threes are probably gonna be the females and that is I think our best one so far 215 I uh, almost made it to gold but not quite and uh, that's only a level one a lot of time the level two females are guaranteed golds from what I've seen at least and a lot of those uh, level ones do have a chance of making gold as well I believe if I'm uh, not mistaken at least we'll have to pick up a few more and kind of confirm that that is a gold male Wow okay so that's a level two male and it just barely made gold interesting so I think that might be the biggest male I've actually ever killed that is another female there and there should be one more down yeah right here this one is a 200 scoring female so all of these were pretty small but it is our first group of quail so that's pretty sweet regardless there we go we got some more quail giving us a warning call hopefully these will not fly off before we actually get over there within range uh, we're gonna try and start with the other shotgun this time and use the side-by-side -side first and then switch over to the semi-automatic and uh, if worse comes to worse, the uh, 22 as well. There we go. That's two down and uh, probably not going to be able to get any of the others with that. So we're going to have to go to the 22. Kind of wish I would brought the 22 Hornet as it's a little bit more uh, accurate and easier to hit these flying off shots with. But uh, yeah, I think we did decent there. Didn't get nearly as many with these as we did with the last ones, but uh, we got a few at least. So there is a little female 178 on that one. Pretty low scoring for a female. And then we got this one right here, 189 female. And what else? Uh, it sounds like they're flying off again, but I can't really see them that well. Maybe we hit that? Yeah, we definitely did. It uh, just was not hit super great. And <laughs> well then I don't know what happened there uh, but this will give us another shot oh my gosh we are just not hitting these uh, quail today I tried to no scope them and do a little bit of uh, style points there but unfortunately that did not go well and oh my gosh there we go finally these little things are so difficult to hit if you don't hit them when they're close and uh, we've been missing quite a few of them when they're close that is the nicest one so far 223 that is a good looking quail I really do love these little guys they are pretty cool looking I don't know if I like them more than the pheasant or not I've kind of gone back and forth with uh, my opinions on them but they're definitely cool I do like them and uh, this one right there is a gray 189 male not too bad 
And I believe this is the last one right here. This is a red-brown male. This seems to be an uncommon, as far as I can tell. You don't see the red-brown as much as you do the other uh, plumage types, but it does seem to still be a common. It's just not quite as easy to find as some of the others. And here is one more little brown female, 201.50. Another uh, good-looking little bobwhite quail. You know, of course, the second I start doing a video like this, I'm missing like half of my shots on these quail. Just the other day when I was live streaming, we were hitting pretty much all of them and doing pretty well, uh, given we were using a uh, completely different shotgun, but we're uh, just not on point in the first half of this video, unfortunately. It's uh, quite unfortunate, so I guess we will uh, see what we can do. I also just realized I have said unfortunate so many times in this video. Ah, this is, this is becoming an interesting one. Eh, I'm just going to blame it on the fact that I'm recording this at 10.46 at night and I'm incredibly tired. So apologies if I'm not myself during the rest of this video. There we go. There's another group of bobwhite quail. This is group number three, unfortunately not going in the direction that we want them to. Uh, maybe we can manage to hit one of these. I highly doubt it, but I'll take a few shots at one. And uh, yeah, no way we're hitting that. Hopefully they'll end up flying back towards us. That would be amazing if they could. That would definitely save us a little bit of time and chasing. There we go. Another warning call. Let's uh, hope this one goes a little bit better than the last one. Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, they're coming right at us. Perfect. Oh my gosh, we actually got quite a decent amount of them. That uh, went a little bit better than I expected it to. Ah, oh, that one was grounded, unfortunately. I guess we hit it as it was going down. That's a 221 right there. That's a decent gold. That's uh, not too bad. I uh, gotta make sure we're ready for the next ones because they could fly up at any moment. That's one thing I've learned about these quail. They can fly up at any time. You never quite know when they're gonna do it. So we gotta just stay ready and hope for the best. There is our last one, 180 scoring brown female. I think there should be at least two or three quail left. Yeah, looks like we got minimum two. Well, we just got a warning call from some more quail over here. I don't know if they're going to spook off before we actually get there. Yep, they did. Well, we are uh, going to hopefully have to get a couple shots into them if we can. Yeah, I did not expect this to work, but oh, oh my gosh, it did work. <laughs> I take that back. It, uh, it worked somehow. That was a very lucky shot. Hopefully we can get a couple more on our way over there. So the only reason I'd grabbed the 22 LR instead of the 22 Hornet today was just because I wanted to save on a weight a little bit and the 22 Hornet's kind of a heavy rifle. But uh, I'm kind of wishing I had brought it. It's uh, much easier to use against the quail, that's for sure. I've had much more luck with uh, uh, the 22 Hornet than I have with the 22 LR when it comes to the quail at least. So. I would probably prefer to have that in my loadout, but right now we're stuck with the 22 LR because of uh, weight reasons, so I guess it is what it is, but next time we go after some quail in a video, we'll probably be using the 22 Hornet, but uh, let's see where these are. I don't exactly know where they're going to fly out. Ooh, there we go. There is one right there. I don't know if that's even going to come close to connecting. Probably not. We'll just uh, spam a few shots through there and hope that one of them connects, although I don't expect it to. But you never know. One of these days we might hit a crazy shot like that, and at that point it'll be worth it. Uh, we did hit one of the pellets from the shotgun shot, so that is at least good. We will get it down on the ground. And honestly, these quail are so small and fragile that pretty much any hit will take them down. It really doesn't have to be a solid hit. That was two pellets and it died relatively quickly, so... Hey, you really don't have to hit them with much and they will go down. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a 161 to 205 kg black spots male wild hog. Oh my gosh, that is that's not a common thing to come across. I think we're going to take a bit of a detour and uh, try to take this pig down instead because that is not a common sight. We got to go check to see if this thing is potentially a diamond. 
if this ends up being a diamond, this might be one of my coolest trophies ever. So, fingers crossed that this turns out to be a level 5. Ooh, there we go. We finally got it to warning call, which means we are getting pretty close. I really hope this ends up being a level 5, but I would honestly be pretty happy with a big level 4 as well because these black spots males are pretty rare. Uh, they're not necessarily considered a rare, but they're definitely harder to find than the normal uncommons you would have for most species. They honestly feel like they're in between an uncommon and a rare. And uh, this guy is unfortunately downwind of us, so that's not going to end well, unfortunately. Maybe we can move a little bit. I actually see him. I do see them. If we could get a spotting on them, that's got to be him right there. Okay, here it comes. We got the pigs coming right to us, and that is a female. There's the male. The male's got to be close. He has to be super, super close. It's another female. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. That is the last thing we want to have happen. Uh-oh. Aggressive? Eh, that's not good. Well, this is not going the way that I wanted it to, and I don't see the male either. This is interesting. And that pig is now aggressive as well. Oh no. Can we spot this? I, I just want to know where it is. I just want to know where that uh, male is. They're all females. What is this? <laughs> Where's the male? And now we're going to have to uh, dance around the pigs. So yeah, there's that. Okay, there we go. It has uh, finally left, but that means we're going to have to continue searching for that male. Just uh, take care of her real quickly as well. Man, where is that male pig? I feel like that was the only one we did not see there. Ooh, there we go. I think that's finally them. Let's see if we can get some uh, better views of them, I think. Yes, that's it right there. That is our pig. It's definitely not a level 5, but... It is a, a pretty nice level 4, so let's see if we can get a shot into it. I definitely don't want to mess it up because this isn't something you see every day. So if we can, we will try to get a good shot into it. And yep, that will do the trick. That is uh, probably my largest black spots feral pig that I've ever come across for, the males at least, so that's going to be pretty cool. Debating on throwing it into the lodge even because this isn't something you commonly see. Not a uh, level fours at least, that's for sure. And there it is. What a beauty. That is a good looking level four. And man, the tusks are definitely uh definitely bigger than they used to be. Definitely are, and I think the level fours actually look bigger than uh, some of the smaller ones even. Jeez, that is a big one right there. You know, we're gonna tax that because this is probably the biggest one we'll ever kill. That is really, really cool. So unfortunately our hunt did not end in a diamond or rare quail, but we did end up finding a pretty sweet feral pig, so at least we got something cool. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there though, because unfortunately it's getting late and I'm kind of running out of time to record, so it's going to be a bit shorter video, but hopefully you guys still enjoy it nonetheless. With that being said though, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss any future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to hunt here next, and I will uh, do my best to get to whatever it may be. And with uh, that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!